Welcome back everybody for another episode of 380 ACP Ballistics Gel Testing. Today we're going to be having a look at the Hornady Critical Defense 90 grain FTX projectile. We're going to go ahead and run the numbers through our chronograph to get an average velocity out of our little Ruger LCP. Then we're going to shoot it into our 10% calibrated ballistics gel blocks with four layers of denim. But first, let's get a closer look at this projectile. This is the Hornady FTX projectile here. It has a 90 gram projectile which is par for the course for a bullet weight for a 380 hollow point. And it has a little plastic wedge. And that wedge is supposed to act like, well, a wedge to wedge the bullet into expansion when it hits something. A lot of hollow points with really exaggerated cavities, they'll actually pick up denim and gel testing and in clothing on bodies in which when that thing gets clogged up, it won't expand. So the theory is, with this thing already clogged, the only thing it can do now is expand when it hits something. So, let's go ahead and run the numbers now. 913. 937. 921. 948. 925. All right, we have a total of 27 inches of ballistics gel. We are going to stop this bullet today. And the first two blocks, of course, are uh, fresh cast. And I made the mistake of wrapping them up a little too tightly, so they're pretty uh, liney, but it's not going to affect our results here. So, we're going to charge the weapon. And we'll take a few shots. One. Two, three, and it ended right there. Let's take a closer look. The Hornet Critical Defense cleared our four lasers in them pretty easily as we would expect. The wound tracks don't seem to be very impressive. I know one of our projectiles did actually exit the block early on. It was hit at an angle. But the other three were captured. Pretty straight stuff. I know the uh, waviness is, isn't helping the effect here. But I do see some bullet expansion at the 15 the 16 and a half inch mark for those first two bullets. The last one I shot did not expand. It ended at 21 and a half inches. I'm sorry. 20 and a half inches. Let's go ahead and dig them out. So how did the Hornady Critical Defense do when it came to expansion? Well, quite well to tell you the truth. These ballistic tips which were found in the block actually wedged these bullets down quite well. Two out of three anyway. Two out of three isn't too bad. And of course, hollow points will fail to expand for a variety of reasons. And this third one actually failed to expand and went to 20 and a half inches, which might be a little too much if it fails to expand. That, that is up to you, of course. That is your judgment as to how much penetration you want or need. And the FBI standards, which this is a very unscientific test, but the FBI standards will state 12 to 18 inches after four layers of denim and our 10% gel. And overall, the Hornet Critical Defense actually did quite well. It hit the 15 to 16 inch mark reliably, even with this expansion. Oftentimes you'll see 380 hollow points expand violently, but not penetrate enough or not expand at all and penetrate quite a bit. So in this case, it seems that the 380 critical defense from Hornaday gets the best of both worlds. Again, you draw your own conclusions. This is for your own edification. And I'll see you guys next time.